All right, guys, I'm out here herping with a friend of mine, Joey, in his area. This is the same area I caught my life for blotched water snakes. But right here, we have the first herp of the day crawling up the stream. Ow, 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 ow. It is a very angry red-eared slider. Look at that. Ow, ow. His scratch is very, very much so hurt. Yep, really cool. We can see by the red ears, standard red-eared slider. Really cool. I was just going to put him back. Hi, guys. <laughs> You want him? Told him? Uh, no. Fine. All right. Just gonna put him back. There he goes. All right, guys. Next over the day. I don't know how you, well you can see it because it's a little bit dark back here. But uh, this is what appears to be an eastern musk turtle. Really, really tiny guy. Kind of cool. Just gonna take a picture of the look at his bottom carapace there. It's a good way to identify him. But yeah, we're just going to set this guy back. Not anything too rare, and then uh, keep on keeping on. Yeah. See you guys in a bit. Nice. Yeah. That must be the better side. All right, guys. It's Dominic back with another video. We are getting ready to leave for our beach vacation. And I decided, you know, since uh, it's nighttime, it would be a lovely time to test out my new... Uh, Headlamp I bought for the beach. Guys, we haven't seen much besides our standard invasive geckos, but I've come to find that this is slightly more common than I knew it to be. Right there is a sleeping green anole. Lovely little lizards. Um, one of my favorite. I used to catch these all the time as a kid. It's probably really the only thing we're going to see tonight. Hopefully I'll be able to make up for it with this upcoming uh, expedition my family and I are taking to Orange Beach. But uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys. Oh look! There's another one right there. How sweet. I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. This morning, when I saw this guy crossing the road, I want to say that's a mud turtle of some kind, but uh, it matters not. Really cute guy. And I uh, just wanted to show y'all guys. He appeared to be facing this direction, so we up and cross. And that's the end of that. Maybe he'll continue on his way. Maybe he'll uh, hop out of the ditch on that side and continue walking across those people's lawns. But that's the way he was going, so that's the way we're going to keep him. I guess I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, we're here today with Keegan and Davis. Forget, we always forget to make intros. Yeah, that's fine. This is a little uh, southern toad, I believe, just oh, yeah. hopping around. Yeah, really cool Keegan spotted this guy. But uh, we don't get a lot of these guys by uh, my house, so... Uh, well, there he goes. Nice to see. I'll check back in with you guys if we find anything else. Uh, Whoa. Did it climb a tree? Yeah, Keegan, get on the other side and hold this. Because I know there's something at least under this one, but it's not a... Don't step on this. Oh, yeah. uh, it's not a, it's not a reptile. It's gonna be a rat. It's, I saw it, Get yeah. your hook and just push it like that. Yeah, yeah, or you take that. Right, Three, two, one. Oh, oh, that's a really pretty leopard frog. Oh my god. But is there nothing else? I got it. You can look nothing? Besides frogs. Right here. All right. Start letting it down. I think we're good. Hit it. Please. Absolutely. Eh. Let's let that little thing in the middle. Just cause. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Say, okay, Keegan, I need you to crank it again. I know. This is what herping comes to when you can't find it. Hit it, boys. <laughs> yeah. How long does it go before it like undoes? Just like an actual. Let me get a picture of the squirrel named Bob Ross. I'll call the dinosaurs this has been stuff. the most successful herping day. Dinosaurs have established a society. Alright guys, I'm just walking along. I'm actually on my way to work uh, for a friend of mine who lives nearby. But down there, there's a little redded slider. And I just thought I'd showcase that. Because uh, I haven't been seeing a lot of stuff recently. In part due to the heavy rain. But uh, hopefully I'll find some more stuff soon, and I'll check back with you guys in a bit.
All right, guys. So I'm out here today checking out a spot I haven't checked out in so long. I actually started, you know, looking around this spot for stuff before I even had the channel up and running and uh, before the quarantine, the great quarantine 2020. Um, but this is actually the area I caught my life for Diamondback Water Snake. It was just a little juvenile. But uh, I'm gonna look around today because of the rain. It's been pretty bad. But uh, looking at some of the spots, I think the biggest danger with my spots right now is that it's just gonna be really slippery. And you know, if this keeps up, I'll be willing to cope with slipperiness. So uh, we might end up just, you know, putting up with it and going and looking anyway. But preferably it'll stop raining for maybe a day or two and I'll be able to go out to my usual spots and look for stuff. But right now I'm checking out this spot because it's a bit easier to access and uh, I might be exploring some parts of, parts of this spot that I didn't explore before because I kind of stopped before I actually started getting into the really more uh, adventurous aspect of it. So there's a few spots around here that I don't think I've explored to their full potential. But yeah, I'll check back in with you guys if we find anything. All right, guys, we've come across the first herp of the, or I say that. I did see a ribbon snake that got away from me, embarrassingly enough. But uh, right here we have... Just traveling through the stream, a little eastern musk turtle. Oh my god. Yeah, he's not happy. But yep, yeah, just kind of chilling in the stream. We found a lot of these like this around here. Uh, it used to be one of my favorite places to go because there's so many of them. They're pretty common here. And there he runs. Uh, he'll just could probably go about doing his thing. But yeah, eastern musk turtle. Pretty common, um, although I don't showcase very many of these because they're so common. But yeah, they're a very common find. So I'm just going to leave him there and we're going to keep on moving. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. Um, I'm back out here with the GoPro. The selfie stick got fired pretty quickly because uh, it is not very easy to carry around and whatnot. It's still right there, but I won't be using it that often. But if we go down here, we just stumbled upon our second hit of the day. Riddle with a lot more moss on his back. He's just chilling down there. Probably gonna get some good underwater shots of him if he'll allow it. Guys, next trip of the day, not something I was really expecting to find. But uh, right here, it's a little green tree frog just kind of hanging, chilling in this uh, mailbox. So yeah, I'm gonna keep on keeping on. All right, guys, I have since ditched the GoPro and such because of the breaking of my beloved fanny pack for the second time. But this right here is a red-eared slider. Uh, we're not even gonna mess with him, he's just chilling. Um, but this is a great example of why this is a great creek, because right up here is, I believe, this is another red-eared slider. Or it's definitely a pond slider of some sort. But yeah, it's a red ear. And you see, they don't even care about people. But there's just so many turtles here. I mean, we've already showcased four, and it's been like, what, ten minutes? But uh, yeah, I love this place, and it was a really great place for me as a kid to find turtles and such. But yeah, I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. at this point but we just found our next turtle it's another red ear one of those weirder pattern ones he's just letting me come right up to him I wonder if he'll yeah he just doesn't even care wow but yeah uh, just keeping on keeping on walking around this little area uh, and we might because this is pretty close to where Davis and I usually go. I might hit up a few of those spots by Davis's house, but I am on a time limit, so I'll have to be quick. I'll check back with you guys in a bit. Guys, I saw some grass moving over here and decided to come check it out. And uh, another big red-eared slider is just moving around down there. But yeah, well, we're going to keep on keeping on. Maybe we'll find something besides red-eared sliders and musk turtles. Oh, would you look at that? You, still, you see what I'm saying? There's another one right here. There's so many turtles. Oh my god. Like they're just everywhere along these ditches. 
Like, I feel like this is kind of an uncommon thing, because they're not like this by where I live. And I, they're not like this where by anybody else that I've spoken to who has, you know, told me about turtles. Most people I know usually tell me when they see reptiles or amphibians. But, like, this is... This is a crazy map. Guys, it looks like it's just gonna be a very turtly day because here we have the next turtle of the day, which is looking like the last one, at least for this spot. Another eastern musk turtle. Pretty cool. I'm not gonna do much with him. He can he can chill out there. But I'm gonna go back. It's probably about time anyways. I'll see you guys in a bit.